How do you ace the General Motors Hire View interview? You ace the interview by showing them that you have what they want and you want it more than any other applicant. This applies if your interview is being reviewed by a person or by AI. This video will help you ace the interview and we're gonna break it down into three simple steps. First of all, we'll discuss what General Motors looks for in the people that it wants to hire. Based off that understanding, we'll look at which questions can be asked in the behavioral section of the interview. And last but not least, we'll show how you can seal the deal by showing that you want this job more than any other applicant. At the end of this video, I have a special tip for you that's gonna cover something that no video will be able to help you with, not even this one. So stick around for that. How can I talk about all this with confidence? It's because I was a hiring manager at a Fortune 50 corporation where I interviewed and hired countless people. By the way, after you're done with this video, make sure to go to tryboomer.com. It's an interview prep platform that uses AI powered feedback to analyze your answers. You can practice on past and present interview questions on thousands of companies. I'll leave a link to a free trial in the comments below. Okay, let's get to it. What competencies does GM look for? But what are competencies and why do they matter? Simply put, competencies are the skills, behaviors, and attitudes that you use to complete any task, be it in your personal life or in your career. Over here, I've listed some of the most common competencies that managers look for in a candidate. But this is not an exhaustive list. There are hundreds of different competencies. And every company has its own unique set of competencies that they look for in each applicant. Let's try and figure out what competencies GM wants in its employees. That's actually a pretty easy task. Just go to the company's website, go to the career section, and you'll probably find the competencies listed out. If you can't find them there, look for the company's values. Values and competencies are very closely related to each other. At General Motors, the competencies look for in a candidate are inclusiveness, customer focus, innovation, teamwork, boldness, ownership, and integrity. By the way, if you feel like you got some value from this video so far, please hit like, comment, and subscribe. This really helps us push out more content that will help you ace your interviews. Great, now we know what General Motors is looking for. Guess what the questions will be about? Those competencies, it really is just that simple. So an example question for the integrity, accountability, or ethics questions might be, tell me about a time that your values were challenged at work. So you see how the company's values get translated into competencies and then those get translated into questions. So you just have to look up what the company's values are, translate those into competencies, and you'll know what the questions are about. Let's look at a few more examples. For teamwork, describe a time that you had to train somebody new. For boldness, tell me about a time you took a calculated risk at work. For ownership, tell me about a time that you failed at something. Now the key here is to make sure that you took ownership for this and explain what you did to turn the situation around. For customer service, a favorite interview question is, tell me about a time that you went above and beyond for a customer. And another HR favorite, tell me about a time that you had to deal with an angry customer. For diversity and inclusion, tell me about a time you had to work with somebody from a different cultural background. For innovation, describe any improvements you've made at your workplace to increase your productivity. So those are a couple of questions that you'll probably get asked on the Hire View interview. I can't answer those questions for you because I don't know you. I don't know your experience. I don't know your career. However, what I can tell you is that there is one foolproof way to answer these questions. And that's a STAR method. It's a method that presents your answer in a great way that is easy to understand and therefore makes the job of the person listening to your answer a lot easier. If you wanna watch that video, click up here. Okay, that's part two done. Now in part three, we're gonna talk about how to make it clear to the hiring manager that you are the best person for the job. There are two ways you accomplish this. The first, is by making sure that your technical setup is on point. You don't need any fancy equipment to look good on video. Just follow the simple steps outlined in this video and you'll be set. That video goes over what to expect, lighting and audio tips, as well as several other things that may seem small but actually have a really big impact on how you look and sound on your interview. Having a good technical setup shows the hiring manager that you value this opportunity and took the time to get ready for it. Even if you're gonna be analyzed by an AI, 
it's gonna be easier for the AI to interpret you. The second way you show them that you really want the job is by acing the motivational questions. Now these are a little bit different from the behavioral questions we saw in the previous section. A classic example of a motivational question is, why do you want this job? The way to ace those questions is to follow the same strategy that we talked about in the previous section. Pick out competencies that you know the company values a lot and frame yourself within those competencies. If you like working with people and the company you're applying to values customer service, join those two together and talk about how you'd be a great fit for the company because you love talking to people, interacting with them, and that matches the company's values. To an HR manager, that is golden. And I can guarantee you, you're going to outshine the competition. So now it's time for that special tip I talked about that no video will be able to help you with, not even this one and that's confidence. Fortunately for you, confidence comes with practice and Voomer is a great resource where you can practice for your interview. You can practice on past and present interview questions for thousands of companies and receive instant AI powered feedback on your answers so you can quickly improve before your interview. So start prepping for your interview right now. I'll leave a link to a free trial in the pinned comment below. If you have any additional questions, please let me know in the comments. I usually take about a day to answer them. So please drop us a like and good luck with your interview.